And that's what we've done. We President Biden's words echoing across the world today after he called Russia's actions in Ukraine genocide during a speech about rising inflation. None of it should hinge on whether a dictator declares war and commits genocide in a half a world away. The administration had avoided using that hard to prove label, but the president later doubled down. Putin is just trying to wipe out the idea of even being able to be a Ukrainian. We'll let the lawyers decide internationally whether or not it qualifies, but it sure seems that way to me. President Biden speaking today with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who called the genocide comments true words of a true leader. President Biden now promising an additional $800 million in military aid to Ukraine, including weapons, ammunition, and helicopters. We tailored this list specifically to meet the needs that they have asked for. That, as Russian President Vladimir Putin said, peace talks have reached a dead end, insisting his forces would achieve their goals. U.S. officials warning a new Russian offensive is taking shape in eastern Ukraine that could be even more punishing. They're going to pound civilian targets hoping to force capitulation. They're going to wreck the Ukraine. As new atrocities are revealed, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe now finding that Russia committed war crimes and targeted civilian attacks in the besieged city of Mariupol, where the mayor says the death toll could top 20,000. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. And the Ukrainian government, along with America and its allies, are investigating an unconfirmed report that Russia may have used a chemical weapon in its assault on Mariupol.